Hello, I'm Ant Joblin and welcome to Pink Diamond, the show that digs deep into the pink sheet and small cap markets to find diamonds in the rough. Today, we're taking baby steps into the world of content and brand management with a firm founded in 2011 and based in Beverly Hills, California. Genius Brands has a market cap of $149 million and creates and licenses animated multimedia content for toddlers to tweens worldwide. The company offers various brands ranging from Rainbow Rangers, Llama Llama, Space Pop and Thomas Edison's Secret Lab. It serves various customers and partners including broadcasters, consumer products licensees, manufacturers, wholesalers and retailers. The company was formerly known as Pacific Entertainment Corporation and changed its name to Genius Brands International in October 2011. Looking at the financials, Genius has had a tough time recently. It has a Petrosky F score of 5, which indicates average health and profitability, but its return on assets of minus 35.48% is worse than the rest of the industry, which averaged minus 3.91%. The firm also has a negative price-to-earnings ratio alongside a negative forward price-to-earnings ratio, which suggests that no positive earnings are expected for the year. And with a price book ratio of 34.09, Genius is considered to be valued rather expensively. However, Genius is expected to show a strong growth in earnings per share, and in the coming two years, the EPS will grow by 33.33% yearly. That represents a significant acceleration from the previous five years. Genius is showing strong growth in revenue, and in the last year, revenue has grown by 136.74%, and on average over the previous five years at 40.78%. Moving to the technicals, we can see that both the long and short term trends are positive. Genius is one of the better performing stocks in the motion picture production and allied services industry, outperforming the majority of its competition. The stock has had a significant uptick following a multi-year decline and having been trading at all-time lows in the first half of this year, it's now trading above 2019 highs and testing resistance at the 200-week moving average. Perhaps significantly, the stock looks to have broken stiff and long-term resistance around the 2 to $2.5 range that has been in place for several years. We can see on the wires that the stock price has had a dramatic turnaround following the announcing of direct offerings totaling over $10 million, which will be used to grow its newly announced digital network for children, Cartoon Channel, on demand and subscription free. These services launch on June 15th and will be available in approximately 100 million US TV households and approximately 200 million mobile devices. As always, make sure you conduct your own thorough due diligence before making any investment decisions. We'll see you next week.